guys thanks for tuning in today so i wanted to show you guys today my new little vintage mini louis vuitton bag that i bought she looks like that and i just kind of wanted to show you guys you know what what fits in here and how i wear it and yeah so let's get to it so obviously you guys know what the regular size louis vuitton uh speedy looks like and this is the mini and this is actually not the current one that um is sold out everywhere this is the vintage, like, this is the first version of that one. And that one is, like, I know for a fact it's a little bit bigger and taller. Um, this is just the original one, like I said. She looks like that. And I am so lucky to find this bag because it's so hard to find these minis with the tab not um, broken off. I was, like, this close to buying one that didn't have the... The tab on here but i luckily i found this one looks like that and i feel like um for as vintage as vintage as it is it doesn't have too much wear on it as you can tell from the handles and the leather here and on this side i feel like whoever had this bag took very very good care of it because even the tabs on the there you go on the sides are still very 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 well uh, maintained and then obviously in here you guys know it has the I'm trying to get the Louis Vuitton logo and it has the um, date that it was made which is in here I'm trying to get hopefully you guys can see that but if you can't sorry so that's what she looks like I don't want to go I'm not gonna go too much into detail with this bag because I feel like you know there's a lot of videos of this bag out there, but I will say that I've been wanting this bag for years and I never <laughs> bought it, but this weekend I was like, you know what, if it's my birthday, or not this weekend, but this month, I was like, it's my birthday, I'm going to get myself like a little treat. So I ended up buying this bag. It was literally under $200. Um, everywhere that you will see, this bag is going to be like about five dollars $600 with the tab broken off, and I know because I've was searching forever until this one finally popped up but honestly i feel like if you guys stay patient maybe you'll end up getting lucky and finding one that's in such good condition like this one was so yeah let me um show you guys what fits in here so right now i used it today when i went to the mall um as you can tell i have like a couple of dollar bills in here and then i just have my key pouch and that's it so let me just take that out so you can see i had that in there and then couple of dollars and this? oh and a sample from sephora that i got and then i think i have some change in here yep and a couple of pennies but besides that she's empty looks like that and then in case anybody's wondering where did i leave my phone you know what give me a second i'm sorry guys okay guys found my phone <laughs> So, um, let me show you guys that it, it will actually fit in the, in the bag, but you have to like shove it in there. And this is the iPhone 8 plus, so it is a very big phone. So let me just show you guys. So I'm trying to figure out what angle to show you. So you kind of have to like wiggle it in there at an angle and there you go. So it'll be in there. And honestly, once you have it in there, even though the phone is supposed is, you know, supposed to be longer than the purse somehow it fits in there and i think it's because it's such a flexible leather that um it, ex it molds with the phone but i mean it's not like sticking out whatsoever you can't even really tell but yeah let me show you guys what else fits in here so obviously my key fob and my key pouch and then if you were wanting to you know carry with you a lip gloss or a lipstick this one's a fatter one i purposely got a bigger one just so you can see that even though it's kind of big, it'll still fit in there. And as you can tell, you know, it went in there like nothing. And then just in case, you know, anybody anybody wanted to um, put an extra wallet in there, just put it in there. And as you can see, it still fits very comfortably. Nothing is um, expanding in the bag or stretching it out whatsoever. So even when I close it, I don't have an issue closing it. And then let me just show you. And even on the sides, as you can tell, you know, it's not stretched out whatsoever. There's still enough room for it to 
sit down and not cause any kind of compression on the purse. Looks like that. It's just, honestly, if you're going to put it in the bag, watch, let me show you. Taking it out is kind of like, with other things inside, it's kind of hard. So, you kind of have to like, wiggle things around. Okay, see, there we go. And there we go, and she's out. And But usually, I don't do that. Like today, for example, when I went to the mall, I carried this, because obviously I didn't want to carry a bunch of stuff. I just I wanted to be hands-free. So I'll just um, carry it this way. So it'll just be standing up like this. So, so that way I don't have to be like struggling to put, it in, to put it inside or take it out. And then I don't know about you guys, but regardless of how huge the bag is, I always, like 99.9% .9 of the time, I always have the phone in my pocket. Doesn't matter how big the bag is. I don't know. It's just that's where I usually like to carry it. It's just easier for me. So that's not an issue for me. If it's an issue for you, then maybe you probably won't like this bag. But I think if you have like the, even the iPhone 11, I think that, that one's smaller than this. So it should fit in there more easily. But yeah, I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, I'm not easily like annoyed by things like that. Just because I know it's to my convenience, it's fine. But maybe to you guys, you guys wouldn't like that. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is how I wear it. Obviously, you know, you can wear it like this, but I prefer to wear it as a crossbody. And I um, use it with this strap that I bought from a seller on Etsy. I think it's really good quality. It, come, it came from India, I believe. It took about like a month for it to arrive here. So what I do is I clasp it on to the sides here. And then I just wear it crossbody like this. Let me show you. And I think she, I think she looks so cute like that. And so, like I said today, I um, I was shopping, so I just had the phone out. So let me show you so you guys can actually see. So I just had it like that. I mean, I think it's perfectly fine this way. But like I said, maybe you guys won't like that. But yeah, that's this is how I intended to wear it when I bought it. I intentionally bought this strap for this bag so I can wear it crossbody. And I know the new one. The only downfall, honestly, that I don't like about the new um mini speedy that they have it's that it doesn't have detachable straps i wish it had detachable straps because that one's a little bit bigger and i feel like that one would actually look fine if you you know held it um handheld it but the fact that it doesn't it's kind of like the only thing that i'm like mm, kind of iffy about i really really like the fact that this one has um an option you know to put whatever strap you want you can even put a gold strap if you'd like but I thought this was fine because it kind of matches with the with the Vachetta. And then I also wanted to show you guys real quick um, a size reference in case you're wondering how small it is to a regular size wallet. So this is my Louis Vuitton wallet and this is the Speedy and let me just show you guys. So obviously the wallet is way bigger. And it would never fit in there but i just wanted to give you a size reference and then in case you're you have like a smaller wallet i mean you're gonna shove it in there but once you you know shove it in there like this one's pretty huge i know they have smaller ones but this is the only one that i could find that was a little bit of a smaller wallet to show you as a reference like i said you can put it in here and it'll still fit but it basically takes up the whole thing but i mean if you're like me like i said and you only carry your keys and and like a lip gloss, it, sh it still fits perfectly fine. So it looks like that. And those are my keys right here. And sunglasses actually do fit in here. I don't have any with me at the moment. But those as well are like, I don't think you'd want to just shove those in there. Just because I feel like you, maybe you might scratch up your lens. And that's not worth scratching up your lens. But yeah, guys, so this is my little mini Speedy. She's so damn cute. I'm going to be wearing this to everything. And I have been actually the last month to everything. And this is her. And I hope you guys like this video. And have a good day. Bye, guys.